Welcome back to Wasteland 2. So I left off the last episode with a lot of my people being incredibly encumbered because we just picked up like two dozen weapons from all of the bodies that were here before. Of course, as I've reloaded my game, all the bodies are gone, but... Nonetheless, I processed almost all of the weapons, so the weight is mostly gone. So everybody can actually walk now. Um, let's go ahead and give Vulture's Cry the M24 because she's, she's out of ammo for the um, SR-2000. So let's switch over to that. There we go, and we got four levels up. Copy, Echo One. Echo, congratulations, Echo. See so what we got going on. Helen, um, six points, nice. Uh, let's see. Let's do weaponsmithing. Then Theodore's the next one. Three points, not enough. Vulture's Cry, six points, yes. I guess another point in Animal Whisper, which I still never really use, but let's just keep going down that road. And Lexcanium. Three points, not enough. Okay. And we're good to go. Okay, so at this point, I think we've killed, like, every single living thing inside of the compound. I think everybody's gone. I still want to help the dogs if I can, though, but... I don't know. Let's go see. So I heard whining dogs inside, so let's see if we can go, like, inside proper. And maybe there's some civilians here, too. Oh, we can get on the roof here. Secrets? Secrets. Crappy secret, but secret. Oh, there's an alarm. Do you have alarm disarm? Who? You do have alarm disarm, don't you? Yeah, you do, although you're really, really bad at it. Eh, nobody's gonna come even if the alarm goes off, so whatever. You know, I don't even care. Screw the alarm, let it go off. Just be a vantage point for combat. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else going on here. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Back down. The poor doggies. Stanforth may say he loves dogs, but look at how he keeps them. Disgusting. Wait, what do you mean? This looks fine. They all have dog houses. Yeah, there's no one here. Let's see, um, maybe I can whisper to them and figure out what's wrong. Aww. While this pup clearly enjoys your gentle care, it's far too loyal to Commander Danforth to follow you. Oh. Still won't talk to me. Well, I guess I can use this for XP, but other than that, it doesn't seem to serve a purpose. So I can't do anything to help him, can I? I didn't have the cure at the door, and I still don't have it now. Um... See if there's anything up here, I guess. Oh, this is actually a ramp? Oh, it is. Probably just another vantage point. That's what I'm guessing. 
Yeah, looks like that's it. Okay, uh, it's time to go. A couple more dogs I gotta use the animal whispering on, but I don't really care that much. It's a piddly amount of XP. Um, oh, you know what? We still need to free the pigs. <laughs> I, st I still have that quest, right? Um, wait a minute, another quest is gone? Hold on, what happened to the pig quest? Let me start moving my people before I look at that so they're on their way. Yeah, it's moving right here. Did that resolve? Ah, there's so many quests here. Whatever. Team Echo polished off the Red Scorpion Militia, including Commander Danforth, just like Job asked. He'd probably be happy to hear about this. Yes, yeah, so let's go talk to him. I think all the people that were on the farm probably are the people that came to us to attack us. So I don't think we need to worry about them. There's obviously an alarm, but I don't care. Did they kill the pigs? What happened to the pigs? Well, at least Job is still there. What, did they just not feed the pigs or something? Curly pigtail. What happened to the pigs? Back bacon. Well, let's pick up their shit and give it to TNT Dan. Those are big piles of shit. Like, those are mountains of shit. That's what I would expect to come out of a T Rex, not a pig. Another alarm's gonna go off. I'm gonna scare the chickens. Uh. Why did you come over? That wasn't. Was it. Was that your stuff? I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't seem to care that much. Let's uh, wait for the alarm to stop and then go talk to him. If that was your stuff, uh, I'm sorry. Awkwardly crowd in here. There we go. So, did you do it? Did you kill Danforth? Yep, he's dead. The farm is yours again. Really? Oh my god. I thought this day would never come. Thank you, Rangers. Thank you. You saved my life. You saved this community. I, I have to admit something. I was the one who released the plague. I thought you'd abandoned me and I needed your attention. But now that I have the farm back, I'll, I'll go take care of the dogs right away. Bless your rangers. Thank you. You what? That's pretty fucked up, dude. And where did you get your hands on a plague? Like, you just, you just had a plague in your back pocket that you knew how to cure as well? Well, I mean, I guess the uh, dogs are going to be fine then. Hey, everything worked out. So does that mean if I went over to Job, maybe I could have talked to him, talked to him about the plague and solved it? I never thought to ask him because I had no reason to really suspect him. Hmm. Okay, well I think that's it. I mean, aside from Jespel's dowry, which I don't think I'm ever gonna find. There's nothing to do but just head back to Ranger Citadel. So it's gonna take me a while to snake around this map and get to the overhead map, so when I get there, I will be right back. Uh. 
Oh. I, uh, I just clicked on the exit here and just was waiting there by the exit, waiting for my rangers to catch up with my camera. And I wasn't thinking about the fact that my rangers were taking a different route back than I took in, which means I'm encountering, uh, red scorpions that I never fought before. Right. Awkward. Well, let's take out the lobber. There's a guy who killed himself. Because they killed his wife. What a fitting place to kill the fucking red scorpions. He actually can do a significant amount of damage with his fists. Luxcanium is a skilled fister. Who's going next? You? You're far away. But I can kill you anyway. Oh my god. These guys have very, very small armor, so I'm not going to bother using that. Let's use the Timp-9. And it jammed. Let's go take cover. Who's going next? You? Well, in that case, let's take you out of the turn order. Goodbye. No turn for you. Or you. Or you. Never mind. Uh, no need to burst. Just take one shot, there we go, plenty, and then we'll have Yulia, Yulia finish him off. Something buried there. There's something buried right next to an already existing hole. It's weird. Hmm. Copy, Echo. Echo, congratulations. Okay, how many points do you have? Uh, seven. Excellent. Well, I could really go for either of these. They're all at seven. Let's go for demolition. Oh shit, he's encumbered. Stump that weapon off on somebody who's doing fine. Who's doing fine? Last four characters are not even slightly over encumbered. Let's give it to Lexcanium because I hate him. Whoops. I think Job is, like, the only dude left alive here. Have fun rebuilding Happy Valley. It's more like Death Valley now. Okay, anything we encounter out here is probably going to be relatively low level, so we should be able to run away from it. So it should be an easy shot over to the Ranger Citadel. Uh, 
which way is shorter? Going up or going down? Probably going down. Actually, let's let them decide. Yep, I thought so. I'm sure the pathfinding algorithm is pretty good at finding that out. Feels like it's been forever since I've been back to HQ. Aber Ford, how you doing, buddy? Hello, person whose name I still can't pronounce very well. Solvig Seffers. How you doing? How's the mission going? Uh pretty well. Thanks. We heard about the nuke. I can't believe you disarmed. Uh, a live warhead. That ah, took like five seconds. No biggie. Whopper of a place you got here. Whopper of a place. I like that. Okay, let's talk to some people, see what there's... What new stuff there is to talk about. Recruit my new people, let's do all that stuff. Okay, do I have anything new to give you? Yes, I do. We found an interesting collection of documents. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, yeah, something new to tell me. Uh, there you are. I've been wanting to talk to you. I put that floppy disk you gave me, you know, Wasteland, into one of our few working computers. And it's a game. But not any game, it's about the Rangers. The main characters are General Vargas, Captain Death, Lieutenant Sagara, and Hellraiser. It's the wildest thing. You deserve many thanks for finding it. We'll be, st we'll be studying it for years. <laughs> Alright, we found an interesting collection of documents about a plane crash. Want it for the archives? Very much so, thank you. These reports give us a pretty useful look into how governments and bureaucracies worked before the apocalypse. Might seem like boring reading, but I find it fascinating. This certainly calls for a reward. Definitely don't eat scrap, I'll take merit. We thought you might want to add this painting to your collection. It looks like there might be something under the fresh coat. Hmm, let's have a look at that. Oh my. Oh wow. Echo, do you know what you have here? It's an honest to goodness painting. Not a reproduction, but a real painting. I think under the top layer is actual oil paint. And old. I've seen pictures of these in books, but I thought all of the real classics were destroyed when the nukes hit the major cities and took out most of the museums. It'll take me a while, but I'm going to do my damnedest to restore this. Cool. Well, I hope I hope I get to actually see the painting. I mean, do you get to see the stuff added to the museum? Like, do you actually get to see it on display? I hope you do. I'm not sure. What have I given him? I mean, I gave him the the disc. Which, you know, in fact, maybe I can go mess with the disc over here on the computer. I forgot what this computer was. I think it was like a snake game. Yeah, Wasteland Snake. In fact, is there anything new I can do here? Like, now that my people are a lot better at everything, can I do computery skills on anything? I know there's a toaster, obviously I can't- I still can't do that. Hmm. Sagara! How's it going? Still have your Sagara in your mouth, huh? You have new map data for me? Let me see it. Yep, we found the Canyon of Titan. Well, aren't you just a regular Magellan? That's some good work, Rangers. 
Now, let's have a look at your map. Oh yeah, those are some nice coordinates. You even adjusted the contour lines? Well, Rangers, you definitely deserve a payday. Thank you, sir. We also found a Monta. <laughs> so it exists after all. And based on the coordinates you've given me, I would guess that it was once... Hmm... The Davis Monta Air Force Base? Yes, it must be. Very interesting. It sounds like a great resource for old tech and scrap metal. Hmm. He's still coughing and hacking. Does that mean the cure didn't work? I'm feeling a hell of a lot better. Not perfect, obviously, but still a shit ton of... I'm still in a shit ton of pain, but the tests are confirming it. The mystery juice you brought back cured my cancer. I'm gonna get to work trying to recreate it from the sample I saved. Merkaptain's, uh, like a pig in shit getting to work with me on this. Tell you what. Since I owe you my life and every... and everything, I'll let you ransack my medical supplies at a discount. Melson won't like it, but what the fuck. I'm feeling good, so... What brings you back home? Supplies are hurt. Yeah, I guess I could use some healing. Thank you. I don't, I don't actually need medical supplies, though. Alright, so I'm going to talk to everybody first and do all of that stuff first, and then I'm going to do all of the management stuff that I'm going to cut out. The uh, selling of my equipment, leveling up, and spending the attribute point. Let's, um... Mm -mm -mm. Let's formally recruit my people. Alright, we got Corn King. Yep, he likes to blow himself up. Don't worry, he's fine. I'll take Merit, thank you. And we have Lexcanium. He's an altered human with an augmented brain. Wait, so he's some kind of robot? Next he'll be telling me you're recruiting toasters. Maybe I will. Anything new to tell me? Uh, Hungerford? Nope. Alright, let's go talk to Vargas. Uh, where is Vargas? Vargas? Vargi? And where is... Merkaptain? Alright, they must be doing something special. But where did they go? They must be up here. Right? Yeah, that's what I thought. There you are, Team Echo. Just in time. Welcome, Rangers. Officers. I'll give a more detailed briefing in a moment, but Mer Captain tells me Lieutenant Woodson will be sending us a live feed any second, so we'll wait for that. What I will tell you now is that we have sent Woodson with Ranger Team Foxtrot to Los Angeles to establish a base of operations, and so far, things are going well. In the last 48 hours, they have found a water source, begun building a perimeter wall, and have started seeking the source of the signal you helped us pinpoint. Once they've found it, you, Team Echo, will follow to help reinforce our presence there and learn more about the area. How are we coming on that feed, Mer Captain? Any second, General. Unfortunately, until we connect with the source of that powerful Los Angeles signal, contact with Woodson on the ground will be impossible. Only a radio operating above 2,000 feet is capable of receiving signals from Arizona over the intervening mountains. We have arranged to call at this hour while Chopper 1 is in flight, in the hope of surmounting that we... Ah, looks like that signal is coming in now. Thank you, Mer-Captain. Put it on the speakers. Very good, sir. Just one moment. Chopper 1, this is Ethel Mer-Captain at Citadel Base. Relaying your feed to the General. Do you read me? Roger, Citadel Base. Reading you loud and clear. 
And howdy, Snake. It's a beautiful day in Southern California. How do, Angela? Tell me what you're seeing. Roger, General. This is our first flight heading west of Santa Fe Springs, and so far it's more the same. Just like yesterday. I know I keep going on about it, but this place is huge. The ruins go on for hundreds of miles. Hundreds. An endless grid of empty streets and wrecked buildings with only a few signs of life. Smoke from chimneys, farming in empty lots, locals coming out to look up at her chopper. Nothing big yet. No radio tower capable of... Holy shit. Excuse me, General, but I'm sorry. Just made visual contact with a, a large body of water. I've never... General, I think I'm looking at the Pacific Ocean. I've, I've never seen water this big. It's bigger than the land. I... Wow. Captain Death, I have visual on some larger structures. On your two, seal beach coordinates. Roger, pilot, I see him. General, we're coming up on, well, kind of looks like a warehouse or a factory, but I've never seen anything so large or... Captain, structures are occupied. Repeat, occupied. I have visual on unidentified bogies on ground to the south and west inside compound. Advise. Go ahead, Joey, but take it slow. I want a closer look. Just prepare for evasive action on my signal. Got it? Roger, Captain. Proceeding. Seeing some impressive stuff here, General. Place looks to be in good repair and well maintained. Fresh coat of paint and everything. Looks like there's a large community growing up around it too. Some kind of Captain, clean visual on bogies. I ma'am. I don't think they're human. Coordinates, pilot. Coordinates. I don't want it. To... On your nine, Captain. They look like robots. Well, shut my mouth. General, we got eyes on the bogies in the compound, and they're robots. Big robots. More than twice the size of any robot I've ever seen, and most definitely military. I'm seeing weapon and targeting systems, military markings, and it looks like they're taking a defensive posture around the perimeter of the compound. Tell them to get out of there, Mer-Captain. I don't like the sound of that. Yes, General. Chopper 1, pull out. General's orders. I repeat, take... Captain, we are being targeted. Recommend evasive action now. 10-4, pilot. Hardaway North, heading 008. Excuse me, General, we are gonna have to get the fuck- Bogey's firing, Captain! We have one, three, four, four, four missiles incoming! West two points! Climb, climb! Still on our tail, Captain! It's like they're following us! Jesus fuck, what kind of tech are we dealing with here? Away team, break for impact! Hold on! Mayday, Mayday, we are hit! We're going down! We're going down! Angela, I- Well, shit. Rangers. Rangers, I, I cannot express the grief I'm feeling at this moment. To hear... To hear brave men and women on an errand of peace murdered without provocation or warning, I... Forgive me. I don't know who did this, or why, but I will not allow it to turn us from our mission. Indeed, it has only increased my determination to establish the rule of law in Los Angeles. If the savages there are in possession of such terrifying firepower, then we are needed. The people must be freed from tyranny. Team Echo, you will fly to the base Team Foxtrot established in Santa Fe Springs and continue the work they began. Establish our base of operations, make contact with the locals, and find a radio tower that will allow the outpost to maintain contact with Ranger Citadel, and also to broadcast our message of law and hope to the community. Secondly, you have two primary tactical objectives. First, you will look for the source of the God's Militia and Children of the Citadel broadcast that we have been hearing, and brief us on what you find. Second, you will find out who or what shot down Chopper 1 and determine what kind of threat they pose to the region and to us. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, you will do your best to win the hearts and minds of the LA natives and by your actions convince them to trust the Desert Rangers. You will do this by offering to help them in any way you can whether it be by bringing raiders and outlaws to justice or by bringing food and water to the hungry.
The people of Los Angeles must know that the Desert Rangers do not come to them as conquerors, but as lawbringers. It'll take us some time to put together all the supplies needed for your journey. So if you have any unfinished business in Arizona, or if you need to stock up on arms, armor, and ammo, now is the time to do it. Once you go to LA, you will not be returning here until your primary missions are accomplished. That's all I have to say. Any questions? Um... What intel can you share on the God's Militia, sir? Watch out for that group. They seem to be calling for open warfare against the rest of the world. Keep your rifles clean and your powder dry. And what do we know about the children of the Citadel? We don't know much about them except that they seem to be led by a madman who believes that man and machine should become one. Be careful in your investigations. They sound dangerous and unstable. Well, we took out Commander Danforth, so the RSM shouldn't bother the Rangers anymore. <laughs> For some reason, this, this line isn't voiced. Awkward. Well, I suppose it's good that the RSM problem is resolved. Too bad we couldn't find a more peaceful solution. But at least they won't be harrying us anymore. Echo 1 reporting? Seems like the first thing I should have said. Echo One, your team's recent progress merits a number of field promotions. Oh, right. I guess you can just do that in person. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Report to the helicopter pad when you are ready, and we'll send you on your way. Dismissed. So some sort of a compound just crawling with massive robots, the likes of which Angela has never seen, shot them down. They're building they're building an army out there. Okay, so now is the time to do some cleanup work, sell my stuff see where I want to put my attribute points, and so on, so I'm going to do most of that off-screen, and I will be right back. Okay, so I have sorted through most of my inventory, sold a bunch of stuff, bought a bunch of stuff. Well, actually, I didn't buy a bunch of stuff, I actually only bought... Um, I bought a vest of armor, and then just some ammo. And that's actually it. In fact, I, the only reason I bought the ammo is just because, uh, Tobias Nelson just ran out of money. So I needed to buy something if I wanted to sell my garbage. So that is all dealt with, and now it is time to deal with the attribute and skill points. So skills first, um, eight skill points. Let's go with lockpicking. Okay, now for his attribute point. Okay, so I've looked through all of the all of these, and I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to go go with for each one, for each character. And it mostly depends on the sweet spot. Uh, I think I mentioned that right at the beginning of my playthrough. So there's there's certain sweet spots for different uh, different attributes. Where like sometimes there's a gap where if you put one more skill point into something, you get very little in return. But then if you put another point, you actually get something good. So where I put this attribute point really depends on where the sweet spot is. Because some of these skills have a sweet spot and some of them don't. Like, look at this for example. If I put one more point in coordination, the only thing I gain is a plus 1% chance to hit with ranged weapons. That's terrible. Like, that, that is garbage. But if you put another point after that, then you get not only the plus chance to hit with ranged weapons, but you also get an action point. So as you can see, if I put one point into coordination, I would not be hitting the sweet spot. I'd be getting complete garbage. I'd be getting a terrible return on my attribute point. So I've just been looking through these, and for him, I believe the best thing to get is probably awareness. Because I believe nothing I can give him one point in would actually give him an action point. Yeah. So nothing I could give him would give him an action point, but if I get awareness, then that increases his range, uh, his vision range, that increases his chance to evade, and it gives him more combat initiative. Which means during long fights, he's going to get to actually go more often. 
which is in a roundabout way kind of like getting more action points. So, let's go with that for him. I believe it's the same for Helen. See, so yeah, once again, she is... Um, if I put one more point into coordination, it is not hitting a sweet spot of any sort. It's terrible. Same with luck. I believe it's the same with everything else. Yeah, so let's just go with awareness. Uh, for Theodore, there might be a sweet spot with one of these other skills. I'm not sure. I didn't really check. But uh, I'm just going to go with charisma because that is that is his reason for existing. He is my extremely charismatic leader who recruits people and gives everybody leadership bonuses. And uh, it does increase the leadership radius by two meters, which is pretty nice. Because that leadership bonus is actually having a, a large effect. Because at the moment, what does it do? Yeah, it increases nearby's, nearby allies' um, allies' chance to hit by 12%, which is really good. So, I think that's definitely worth it. And I think I forgot to spend her skill points. Or did I? No, that's spent. That's spent. She only have three points. Can't spend it. Okay, you're good. Alright. Skill point can't spend that, so let's spend her attribute point. Uh, where was her sweet spot? Oh my god, that sounds really dirty. Where Where is her sweet spot? Um... <laughs> Was it coordination? No. Terrible. Luck. Terrible. Awareness. Decent. Um, oh, it was strength. Yeah, so she, I'm going to hit a sweet spot with putting one more point into strength. So as you can see, that increases my carry weight and gives me an action point. Plus critical chance to hit with melee weapons, don't care, and plus base constitution. So for the most, point, for the most part, it's really the action point that I'm interested in, but it's also going to give her a little bit more health and a bit more carry weight. So there's some other things I can do that also hit sweet spots, actually. Like speed, for example. Actually, wait a minute. No, I think... Actually, it is speed that I wanted to hit. Yeah, so putting one point into strength gives me an action point, and putting one point into speed also gives me an action point. And here's an example of where it's like, why would you even go with one over the other? If I put a point into intelligence, I get an action point. If I put a point into speed, I get an action point, plus three other bonuses. kind of weird. But um, anyway, so yeah, it's between strength and speed. So both of them give me an action point, but the difference is this one gives me more stuff that I'm not too interested in. Uh, plus to carry weight, which is, it's convenient, but I don't really need it. And the melee weapon bonus, I don't care. And this gives me stuff that I'm interested in all around. Like plus chance to evade, that's good. Plus combat speed, that's good. Plus combat initiative, that's good. Like, all of these things are useful, whereas with strength, only two of these are really particularly useful. So, let's go speed. Alright, her skill points, no skill points, attribute point. Uh, what was I going with for her? Definitely not intelligence, because putting one more point into that appears to do nothing. Was it luck? No. Awareness? I can't actually remember which one it was with, uh, which one I wanted to go with for her. So none of these give me action points. This gives me a plus chance to evade in combat speed, which I don't really care about because she's going to be in the back anyway. She doesn't really need to run or evade. So I think I'm going to go with awareness. Because that also gives her the plus to combat initiative, which is always good. Plus chance to evade, don't care about, but it also gives her some more vision range, which I guess is a good thing. Sure. It's the most relevant one, I suppose. Alright, skill points. Nothing to spend. I spent hers, right? Yeah. Okay, attribute point. Her charisma is extremely low. Whoops. Not a sweet spot. Not a sweet spot. It's not bad. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so strength gives a plus one action point. That's good. Speed also gives a plus one action point. Intelligence also gives a plus one action point, but again, it gives nothing else, so it's going to be either strength or speed. Which one is more important? Well, she has some fairly close range weapons, especially with the SMG. So strength would give her more constitution, which is pretty damn good. It does not give her more combat initiative. Speed does. This does not. Hmm. I like the idea of giving her more health, though. 
And you don't have any attribute points to spend because you are terrible. Okay. And we are good to go. So yeah, just a quick look at my inventory. Uh, I applied mods to any weapons that needed mods. At least for any mods that I actually had. Which really wasn't that many. I mostly had scopes and magazines. I didn't have a lot of like barrel modifications or under barrel flashlight attachments. But yeah, I installed some mods. Sold or dumped the rest that I didn't need. I'm keeping most of my trinkets just in case I want to switch out my trinkets with somebody. Bought a bunch of ammo. Although I don't think I distribute... Yeah, I don't... I didn't distribute the ammo. Eh, good enough. Keeping my dildos and lipstick, of course. Not gonna go to Los Angeles without dildos and lipsticks. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much good to go. I, uh... Checked my little treasure trove here. This is all stuff that's gonna stay behind. All my modifications, which I don't think I'll need. Random, like, quest items that aren't really relevant anymore. And just a bunch of knickknacks that... I want to keep, but don't really want to keep on me. I think that's pretty much everything. One thing I have not done, though, is visited Merkaptain to see if she has any juicy new items for me. I should mention, by the way, that when I talked to uh, this dude over here, he does not have any new weapons to buy. Like, it's the same tier stuff that was there before, so there's nothing new going on with that. Where's my armor, by the way? Because I don't think I ever put the armor on anybody. Or did I? Didn't I buy a vest? I thought I bought a vest. I don't know what happened to it. Oh well. Anyway, do you have anything new? What have you got for us? Ooh, looks like she has new stuff. I pulled out some of my best work for you. Based on what we've seen, well, heard, you're going to need it in SoCal. Ooh. Bad attitude. It's an SMG. How does that compare to her SMG? It's freaking terrible. This thing is garbage. <laughs> this thing is really bad. Bladed weapon? Uh, don't care. Ooh, what is this thing? That's an assault rifle of some sort, and what is this? That's an energy weapon. Okay, hold on, let's check. Uh, nobody has an energy weapon equipped. Hold on. I wish the comparison was better, because it only compares it to your primary slot, so you have to switch it over if you want to actually compare it. How does this thing compare to the pulse rifle? Damage is better. Hit chance is the same. Range is uh, better. Capacity is the same. Oh god, the armor threshold is four, though. That's really hard. Like, you're going to have to hit... God, you're going to have to hit something that has five armor or above. That's rough. Eh. I don't think it's worth it. Alright, what about that assault rifle? The Lariat. One, one damage, huh? Is that a joke? I don't understand. One armor penetration, 0 0.2 damage per AP. 100% chance to apply all tied up. Hmm? What does all tied up do? So it's essentially a status effect gun. It's not really for doing damage, it's for ruining enemies in some way. I'm kind of curious what this thing does. I guess I'll take it? It takes shotgun shells. The range is terrible. I don't know. I mean, I'm never going to use my requisitions on anything else, I guess. Might as well use them now. And I don't think I want to waste my ammo on this ion blaster. Or waste my requisitions on this... This ion blaster. Did I say ammo blaster? Blasting ammo would be a very bad idea. It's likely to explode in your face. OK. 
Come by anytime. Well, sorry to say, I think it's going to be a long time till I see you again. Yeah, I guess, this I'll, guess I'll just give this to my best shootsman. This weirdo gun. Wait, does it only hold one round? It only holds one round. That is a weird weapon. I want to see what that status effect does. Okay, we're good to go. Talked to everybody, sold everything I need, I'm taking everything I want with me. I almost want to dump Lexcanium for somebody else, but I'm pretty sure all the other people here are mostly melee, right? I mean, okay, Scotchmo's shotgun. The thing is, though, his level's terrible. He's got 100 hit points, he's like half the level of us. So, that's kind of a problem. I don't know if there's some sort of an auto-leveling thing for companions that you leave behind. Because if not, then he's completely useless for the entire rest of the game, because he's so under-leveled. But yeah, most of the people left behind are just melee, so I'm just going to take Lexcanium. And hope I find somebody better there. Let's go to SoCal. Listen up, Rangers. This helicopter can still hold more personnel. If you want, you can take some of the companions you've recruited during your travels with you. Hmm. Otherwise, let me know if you're ready to fly. Okay, I mean, I guess I might as well take some with me. Room for three more in the helicopter? Who do you want to take with you? Alright, so yeah, Takayuki, he's melee. Corn, melee. Scotchmo, shotgun, chisel. What is chisel? Is he melee? I actually don't remember. I guess I'll take him with me. And Scotchmo, because he has a shotgun, and then... I don't really care either way. I guess Corrin, because I guess he's higher level, probably. Okay, then. Are you ready to fly? <sighs> Here we go. I don't know if I'll ever actually be back here. I might end the game in L.A., I have no idea. I'm gonna miss this place. I spent about... I spent about 40 plus hours here. Yep. Gonna miss it. There's a couple uncompleted quests left here. Little things. Jespel's dowry. I still have, like, somebody's locket. Which I think I was supposed to deliver to somebody in DeMonta, but... I don't know what happened with that. Maybe the person I was supposed to deliver it to was dead. I'm not sure. But for the most part, I went over this map pretty damn thoroughly. And it is time to move on. Then get on board and make the Desert Rangers proud. Ranger Citadel. As their helicopter rises above Ranger Citadel, Team Echo doesn't know if they're going to Los Angeles to assist Team Foxtrot, or to avenge them, or what sort of enemy awaits them there. The voices on the radio were ominous and confusing, speaking of blood and bayonets, a golden future, and the end of days, the perfection of man, and the destruction of the Desert Rangers. Are these words proof of credible threats? or just the ravings of madmen. And did one of these madmen shoot down Team Foxtrot's chopper? Or was it some other dangerous aggressor, as yet unknown? Let's go, we get a little play-by-play -play as we go. go over there. Flying over the wastes. Of more immediate concern is whether Team Echo will reach Los Angeles at all. The chopper has just enough fuel for the trip, as long as weather conditions are perfect. Unfortunately, they are not. 
Toxic rain, cyclone winds, and thick fog force Team Echo to reroute again and again. Nor is nature the only threat. More than once on that long journey, they are shot at from the ground. Proof that more humans had survived the apocalypse than they had previously thought. And sadly, also proof that man's first instinct, instinct on meeting his fellow man was still to shoot first and ask questions later. Finally, after an endless night, the sun rises, revealing the steaming green swamp of Los, of Los Angeles below them, and the radio is suddenly crowded with strange transmissions. And, crackling through them, a mayday from Team Foxtrot. Their position is being overrun by savage beasts. Team Echo races to their aid, but just as they have a visual on the ranger camp, the chopper's engine sputters and dies. The fuel is gone. They're going down. Oh shit. This is really cool. There's our chopper. Where's the pilot? Did the pilot die but all of us survived? Or did... did one of us know how to fly? I feel bad for the pilot now. Poor guy. Anyway, yeah, we finally arrived in LA. I have no idea what to expect here. I'm out of my element. And into a world that looks quite a bit different from where I was before. Much greener. Okay, well, I think this is an excellent place to end the episode. This is the very first step on what is undoubtedly going to be another very long journey through this place. Let's look at the world map. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god, there is there is going to be so much here. I wonder if this map is actually bigger than the last one. Alright. Well, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.